This is a routine phaco emulsification in a grade 2 plus nucleus sclerosis with some PSA. So, here after making the initial incisions and putting in 2 percent HPMC within the chamber, I go ahead with my bent 26 gauge needle acting as a cystitum. I go ahead and fashion a adequate and adequate rexus. I think everything is going on pretty well and that is the rex is done. We are almost done that is it now it is complete. I then take my hydro dissection cannula and hydro dissect initial wave was not right and then I get a proper wave, put in some more, decompress and rotate the nucleus with the tip of the hydro dissection cannula itself and that is well done. Then putting after putting in some HPMC, I go ahead with my Sinsky hook in my left hand and the phaco probe in my right. I plan to do the quick chop method this so just aspirate some cortex superficial cortex that is and I am going ahead to impale the nucleus. That is the first job done. I have just impaled in the superficial part of the endonucleus. And sometimes the mistake is if you try to impale too much, you will get into the epinucleus, and that is you know that is going to defeat your purpose. So, normally I make four segments and then only take out the segment, but sometimes when the segment presents it itself to you like this, there is no choice but to just go ahead and eat it up. So, that is the whole heminucleus done. So, it is I then crack the other heminucleus and within no time eat up everything and now there is nothing left other than some deposit on the posterior capsule. So, I go into my posterior capsule polishing mode and look what I am doing. I am cleaning the posterior capsule with the phaco tip itself. This is going to be very difficult to do otherwise, but at the same time it does engage the capsule. You have to be very careful. You have to have a good control over your foot switch. The parameters are very low. It is only 5 ml aspiration rate and um, 5 millimeters of mercury linear. So, it is very low, but even those low parameters if you are not careful you can rupture this capsule. So, be a bit careful. Unfortunately, the machine does not allow you to go to preset below 5 millimeters, it just goes to 0. So, it is only a linear control that will give you lower parameters than 5 mm of mercury. So, you can see how beautifully it is cleaning up the posterior capsule. Even the superior part which is and the sub incisional part which are quite inaccessible actually can be dealt with. There are a few plaque like materials which I am not going to try and take out with my phaco probe. There is a bit of cortex in the superior part. I will try to take that off. That is enough. No need to force it. 
and look what I do here. I put in some HPMC, there is some plot material. This is just to show that this didn't come out with the FACO probe, but it does come out with a pin 26 gauge needle. I think you can leave this part, it's away from the visual axis, but this is just to demonstrate that this technique works beautifully. Just watch how this plot comes out completely. Just scraping it off the posterior capsule. That's it. I decide against taking out that other side. And whatever I have scraped up, I just use a hydro dissection cannula and look. I just aspirate those that loose bits of cortex. That's it. And that's it. And then after putting in HPMC, I go ahead and inject my single piece hydrophobic IVA, trying to inject it directly into the bag. Having done that, I then take my bimanual and aspirate the HPMC from uh, the anterior chamber. I then hydrate the wounds, put in my intracameral antibiotic and conclude my session. Thank you so much for watching.